India's Sagar Mala project, which started in 2015, and we have seen the journey of seven years on how the capacity of handling has been increased by uh, more than 60, around 60 percent over the past five, seven years. And uh, we understand the vision of this project is to have port modernization across all the major and other ports uh, uh, across India and to provide the right infrastructure for the augmenting exim trade what we observe. We have recently crossed the $400 billion mark for the goods being traded in our export import, uh, in, in our export uh, largely. So we understand uh, the importance here of these shipping infrastructure, the port modernization, the turnaround time, and the kind of infrastructure it has, the potential it is having to boost the economy, local economy. And with such a vision, this Sagarmala project was initiated way back in 2015. And success have been uh, seen. Uh, this project was uh, envisioned with uh, nearly 800 plus projects within this Sagarmala program. And over, over the next uh, two decades, that is from 2015 to 2035, and uh, these, this uh, project size, uh, the kind of investment here uh, was near about 80 to 90 billion dollars for these 800 projects. And within these uh, around 200 projects, uh, to be exact, 194 projects have been completed over the past uh, five years, five, seven years, and uh, worth 20 to 30 billion dollar of project size wherein uh, PPP projects are also there, uh, near about 10-15% of those projects are PPP uh, projects. Now the next, uh, uh, in the coming phase, in the coming couple of years, it is expected that another 200 projects will be completed worth 20 to 30 billion dollars of project size uh, with private, uh, with PPP projects uh, being 31 among those and uh, with an investment of uh, around 50,000 crore from private investors. So uh, we are seeing, uh, we have a vision of completing these projects. So we, we are targeting to complete near about 50% of the project by 2024. And uh, that is in a couple of years. And thereafter, definitely other projects are in the DPR phase and sanctioned phase, uh, conceptual phase. So uh, definitely they will follow. One thing here uh, we need to look into is the capacity utilization and how we are competing with the, with the provisions in the West and in the developed areas, developed countries, uh, their port and how we need to compete with the Colombo port as well, which is a deep sea port in Sri Lanka. If we look uh, overall, uh, we uh, currently we can observe here that uh, the kind of capacity utilization is somewhere around 50-60%. Uh, uh, mostly the southern uh, ports and the eastern uh, Bay of Bengal ports are uh, not having that capacity utilization and that is something uh, the right modernization and more advancement are required in all such ports uh, beyond the JNPT, the major focus port what we have uh, in Mumbai. Uh, other ports need to develop and uh, have that capacity utilization a good uh, turnaround time of a less than a day. Uh, currently at some major ports it has been achieved near about 25-26 hours turnaround time. So that uh, that's a good number and that has been achieved from the erstwhile 44 hours. Uh, but but uh, uh, in other ports as well this these turnaround time are to be reached and uh, we need to leverage uh, the kind of ex export we are doing and the import products which are coming. So to handle those in the coming uh, years, we are targeting trillion dollar export and then import as well. So uh, to handle these, the, the Sagar Mala program is very important to be taken forward uh, with complete uh, uh, concurrence with other projects uh, so that the overall objective of this program is met uh, which is to handle this capacity uh, of trade which India wants to do in terms of goods. 
uh, very efficiently and uh, compete with other international ports and uh, create a local economy and a port-led economy uh, in India. Thank you.